specific issue got it wrong, uh, the, the, the minister would be in, in, in some difficulty. I think it's only fair that where a member wants that kind of specificity in response to a question, that the primary question be somewhat more uh, clear than this one is because it is it's unreasonable to expect a minister to have at their fingertips that kind of information. Now, point of order, the Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Could I just ask you to reflect on that for two reasons? One, I would have thought that's within the purview of the minister answering the question. If he feels that he does have that information, as you've rightly pointed out, he can say, don't have it and sit down. Mr Brownlee has, has given quite a bit of information as the questions have flowed. And I'd submit to you, secondly, sir, that the history of this place, both when parties were on the, the reverse side of the benches, there's been a long-standing tradition that members of Parliament have asked very general questions, uh, and that's never really been appealed, sir, up until this order. Parliament. Order. And there's also been a long... Order. I'm on my feet. No. I'm... There's also been a long-standing practice, unless the member's memory is very short, that ministers have got away without answering questions at all. Now, the, on this occasion, a question was asked, the minister answered it. The member asking the question wasn't happy with the answer and sought my assistance. I've declined to give further assistance because of the nature of the question asked and the nature of the primary question. That's the end of the matter. Uh, Charles Chevelle, is this a point of order or something? Yes, Sorry? Uh, it's a point of order. Point sir. of order. Um, sir, I, I'd seek leave to table a document and I'll, I, I want to be able to read the entire description of the document, sir. It's, uh, it's longer than normal because it uh, establishes the provenance of the advice. So long as the member is not seeking to read the entire document in no, describing it. Charles I, Chevelle. Sir, I simply seek leave to table page four of a briefing paper to the Minister from his department dated 16 December 2008, paragraph 16 of which begins, L and M has advised, and paragraph 17 of which advises that, quote, the successful development of the Hawkton project... Sir, order. This is a point of order. No order. Well, the reason why there's a difficulty is the member is trying to go beyond simply describing the document. The document is a briefing document to the Minister. Leave has sought to table that document. Uh, on these matters, is there any objection? There is no objection. Question number... Oh, point of order, Honourable Jerry Brownlee. I want to make it clear, I want a clarification, because we don't want to block the tabling of a document like that, that it was a departmental document and not a lobbying from a mining company. Sir. Order. No, no, order. This is, this is now getting very untidy. Uh, I'd ask the member to resume his seat for the moment. Uh, leave was sought to table a document. The member didn't. And it, uh, the, the description of the document was a briefing, uh, a part of a briefing document to the minister. And on that basis, it was, I think, the House accepted. If it's anything other than, than a briefing document from the Minister's Department, I'd ask the member to just clarify that, if it was anything other than that. Sir, that's uh, quite right, and for the Minister's benefit... No, no, that's all I asked him to do, is just clarify it was a, a document from his department. Question number nine, Jackie Dean. Yes, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question...